Hi, this is Scott Pop from Mobility Medic. In this video, we're going to show you how to use your diaphragm properly for breathing. Why is this important? Well, breathing can be at the root of so many disorders, not only back pain, but not getting proper carbon dioxide and oxygen exchange, activating or deactivating the right type of nervous system to relax the body. So when you don't use your diaphragm to breathe, you're using your chest to breathe, which is the upper part. You're gonna pull on your neck muscles, you're going to hyperventilate, you're gonna to expel too much carbon dioxide. It inhibits good um, vascular and lymphatic drainage in the body. It doesn't allow your diaphragm to help stabilize your core and your lower back. There's multitudes of research that show that improper breathing can cause a host of conditions. So I'm going to take my shirt off and I'm going to show you how to use your hands and properly use the diaphragm, not just the anterior diaphragm, but properly try to pull it into the back of the diaphragm so you don't have to push your belly out when you breathe diaphragmatically, which nobody wants to do and it's not actually the best way to do it. So watch this next segment and I'll show you how to use your diaphragm properly. Here I'm gonna show you the three ways of breathing. First, the chest breathing that you don't want to occur. So watch my, this is chest breathing. I'm using my neck muscles. I'm not pulling the air deep. It's gonna create hyperventilation and it's activating your sympathetic nervous system. Now I'm going to use my diaphragm, but only in the front part to breathe. That's okay, and it's a way to train yourself, and you can do it by holding here and here. But really what you want to do is have your belly button pulled in slightly like this, and that is the way you want to orientate all of your posture so that you have a slight bracing of your core and then you want to bring the air back in the posterior diaphragm so it looks like this. Pull your belly button in, breathe in. And you can see this part flares. It the actual pulls the air into the posterior diaphragm will go like this. That way, you can still feel like you have a small waist and it's actually helping you because you've got this transverse abdominus muscle that is activated so that you have a nice core strength system. You don't wanna to have to breathe like this all the time because that's, not, that's actually not engaging. There you core. have it. Using your diaphragm is super important for back pain recovery, for increasing nitric oxide levels in your bloodstream, to relaxing your sympathetic nervous system and improving your parasympathetic nervous system, for lymphatic drainage. There are so many different benefits to making sure you breathe properly, making sure you use your nose to breathe instead of being a mouth breather. There's a whole physiology of breath work that works on you know, breathing techniques to increase your nitric oxide levels and that we're not going to talk about on this video but if you can just learn to use your diaphragm in the ways i've shown you you will be a much better person for it